Hello everyone and welcome to our uh, webinar today. We will talk about uh, SI's portal for Aviva. Uh, after registration with Aviva, you will be exposed for several portals and uh, we collect uh, the frequent uh, questions about where to find what, where to uh, install uh, software, where to install a driver, where to find a document, how to register for a system uh, for CSI uh, system integrators uh, exams, and uh, what is the difference between this and that uh, link in this in that portal. So briefly, let me walk you through those principles, the uh, registrations or principles portal for system integrators. First and uh, first of all, we will talk about the registration portal which is very important and this is the key of uh, your approval for exams and your privileges and everything else. Then we'll talk about the Knowledge and Support Center. This is where to find all about software, solution, tech notes, etc. Digital Exchange is a friendly user for Aviva and third parties, um, solutions, services, and you can yourself uh, uh, have your own service uh, that is exposed in this uh, portal. Training portal, where to find the e-learnings, where to find the e-learnings curriculums, uh, trainings, virtual trainings to register there. And there is a small bonus in it. Uh, it's like an Easter bunny uh, that I will leave it when I reach for it. Last but not least, the CSI exam portal. So first of all, how to register? Yes, it's easy, just click on the registration link, but it's very important to know the key of a good registration because uh, some and lots of registration, they don't choose the right uh, user type, email or the address, and at the end, they didn't get there. Uh, permission that all their permissions. So let's start from here. The registration must to choose carefully your user type. So most of you are a system integrator. Here depends on your contract with Aviva. Choose what is your user type in the contract of Aviva. For example, I'm a distributor, so I have to choose a distributor. The email address. Here never never use if you want the full permission never choose your personal email address the hotmail gmail yahoo domains are not recognized by aviva portal always choose your professional email address and your professional email address must have the same domain as the registered domain inside the contract with aviva so if your domain is aitsmina.com in the contract with Aveva, you must to have an email address aitsmina.com. Create password. The rest is simple and easy. Choose your primary product. Always choose what is your primary product in the contract. For example, here is Wanderer, some SciTech, uh, Avantis, etc. Put your location, the company's location, as per the contract as well business phone and create account. Once you create an account, you have an automatic email that will be sent to your uh, to your email. Uh, just a, a, a verification email. Once you verified your registration, just give it around 24 hours or one working day and check if uh, your uh, your portal is uh, validate or not. If it's still not, contact us and we will see what the problem is. How to know if your email is approved and validate? This is the next knowledge and support center. Software support uh, sp.aviva.com and here your knowledge and support center portal. First of all, make sure that on this corner, under your name, you have uh, a number. If you have a number, that means your email, your account is approved. For more information, go for Managed Profile. 
and you'll find your profile account. Make sure that account type is what you registered for, system integrator or OEM or whatever in the contract, and look at your agreement status. If you are an end user, look at the customer first and customer first expiry. If it's expired, most of the permission will be suspended until it's registered, uh, renewed again. Let's start with our tour. So this is the support, uh, knowledge and support center. And here you can reach almost everything. Let's start, let's go and show you how a basic account will be. This is the basic account. It's almost similar, only only the technology matrix. And we'll go for technology matrix uh, will be will be different. Case management is for uh, link to L2, normally is for the district for L, L1. Reports is for L1 and L2. And some software you can download, some software from a product hub. It's for uh, software assets management in case you have um, for some software in case you have a, um, a project and you want to see what's uh, what are all the licenses and uh, the hot fix and the new version etc etc there is a software called sam software assets management you can download it and link it to your project let's drop off this and start the tour from the first tab product hub in the product hub it's here where you can find all the software of Aviva and download it. Let's say, for example, I want to download system platform, but not the recent one, not the not the current one, an older one, an older version, 2014 R2. Unselect all, go for Wonderware. It's under Wonderware product. Search for system platform. Let me be a system platform. Apply. And here you can find the zip file and the ISO file. For me, I prefer the ISO file. First, before downloading anything, look at the related documents, especially if it's the first time you are downloading this software. I highly recommend the installation guide, then getting started. And in case you have to have more look on the historian and historian client and discover more about the Sentinel system monitoring file. Now, as you see the download, it's, uh, I cannot download it. Why? Because I have to open the readme file first, sign in. Once I click on readme file, I can download the product. But remember, I need not the 2017 update 3, but 2014 R2. See 2014 R2 SP1. OK, this is the version I'm looking for. An older version. It's all in here. Before 2012, it's not system platform anymore, so I have to search not for system platform, but for uh, um, application server. Same readme file. In the readme file, whatever the version is, look at the compatibility, what is the operating system, what is the SQL, what, is, what are the new features. It's very, very informative file. Then download and you'll have it. This is the original copy. It's same the one that you get it from the media uh, media CD. And uh, later on, um, no one is well, actually not no one, but will not work in on CD anymore. This is the technology. Everything will be downloaded from here. And even the media CD are just a copy from this library. This is all about the product hub. Solution Hub, what is a Solution Hub? A solution first, a solution is not a product, but a 
a bundle of products to give you a solution with the templates. For example, let's go for if you need the performance uh, management, line performance management, etc. UOC for cities. This is very important these days. Energy performance for manufacturing. What is it? Uh, performance manager. Let's see what the performance manager. It's not a product, but it's actually several product performance manager setup guide. You can read it. Digital exchange. We will talk about it. Readme file. In the readme file, you can find well performance manager. It's actually a bundle of Skelta and intelligence. Then you can download it. Let's go back. The knowledge base. This tab is your link to all tech notes, tech alerts uh, and FAQs. As a basic uh, um, account, I cannot read the tech notes and not all the tech alerts, but some FAQs. Here you can search by. Uh, by document number. But. If you don't and the most of us doesn't remember the number you can we can search for. Licensing by title. License. You can last release of a license manager or I server not detecting activation. This is FAQ. Click on it. It will open FAQ technos or whatever. They all have the similar similar form. This is the form when you have the answer. Or what's the issue? The answer in some of them are a long tech notes when you can find uh, pictures in here. What is the document ID? What version? Last modification and in what product? Go back. Videos. It's simple. Uh, the tab that will link you to the webinars tech support videos, some success stories. Or different things, some videos. You can find lots of other videos in YouTube. Simply search for what you need or Aviva or subscribe to Wonderwear or Aviva's uh, channel or even subscribe to our channel AITS channel when you can find the latest uh, uh, videos about Aviva's product or our own webinars. Community community is a simple forum. Here. Where you can contact. The Aviva community. Let's say I want to contact Wonderware community. I'm part of it. There is a group of uh, or list of topics. Let's see Wonderware developers. No, 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 no. OK, let's see the Wonderware developers. Developer network. HMI, this is a topic. It failed to impress. Here you can find a lot of issues with answers. Oh, this one is not answered yet. Security checker. OK, with two replies. So he is here. He's asking for a question with two replies. It's a simple forum where you can uh, create your own topic and ask your own question as well. Oh, I have here. And I'll read message. I will look at it later. Okay. Subscriptions. Training center will go for it later on. But let's go before to subscriptions. Unlike a lot of uh, webs or uh, portals, here you can customize your own subscription. Here you can find the list of subscription. Like what? I want to have a weekly notification or a weekly news about Wonderware, only the articles or tech notes or both. So I can click on new subscription. Let's say one week I can name it WW for product line is let's see. I want to know Wonderware. Oh, let's see Wonderware and SciTech and Skelta. Yep. 
select your continent. I need, no, not all. I just want to know, okay, what's the latest training? That's good. And some articles and knowledge base. Then how frequently every week and create subscription. Yeah, I don't have permission because I have a basic, uh, basic account, but you can have it. You can create more than one subscription and it will be, You'll have it here as a list, customizable, and uh, you can change it, you can remove it, you can create more, totally your call. Let's go back. Connectivity Hub. In the Connectivity Hub, it's similar to Product Hub actually, but Connectivity Hub is more uh, about the device integration and a drivers. Before going for Connectivity Hub, because this part will take longer to load, let's say the difference here, the technology matrix, in case you have this one is open. The technology matrix is like readme file, but in easier way. It's what is the compatibility of your product and what is its matrix with other products. Let's say I want to look at the application server, the latest one. Application server 2017 update 3SP1. Go for it. And in here, it will show me almost what I need. So product information. The product lifecycle, this is a mainstream support. You can look at what mainstream support means. In Wanderer, date of availability, mainstream, extended. This is a little bit old, but still extended. Mature, that's been sold, product retreatment, etc. That's what it me means. Report legend, etc. Here are the product notes with all the, the product that came with it, with this version. OS environment compatibility with operating system. Those are the windows that support application server. The database. Runtime compatibility, virtual environment, other product environment compa compatibility. And the product coexistence, that's me co coexistence. That's mean what I can install at the same machine with this product and can stay be compatible on the same machine. Here, the inter interoperability, when it's compatible, but I cannot install it or on different machines. So I have application server 2017, uh, update three SP1, and another machine have application server 2012. They are compatible? Yes, they are. They can read from each other. However, we in, in one environment, we do not recommend to have different uh, version 2017. OK, upgrade everything to, to 2000, 2017. Let's go back to our product hub and this is the product. Let's see, I want in the connectivity hub, I want to in my project uh, I have a, a Modbus PLC, so I need to install a Modbus driver. Let's say I'm, a, I'm in Wanderer, so let's go for Wanderer. And here you can check all the products. Open. Alan Bradley, Backnet, Codices. I'm BTCP. This is a Modbus over TCP. I have another one Modbus here, Mitsubishi, no Melsec for think I think it's Mitsubishi as well. OK, and apply. So Modbus TCP and Modbus. And here you have all the driver related to, to Modbus. Or you can simply search, select everything in, from the title. Select what you need from here. Search for what you need. So I have OIMB TCP. This is a Modbus over TCP on OI core. This is the new method of a new driver. That means I need OI core. You can uh, look at in readme file what is needed. 
And this is the DAS. This is the legacy, the old uh, DI server. What's the difference? They are almost a lot similar, but the R&D are now focusing on those new drivers. That means I have one server and different drivers here. The whole server with the driver come together. This is one of functional. You see from the difference how the size is. This is one to the licensing. The new drivers need the XML licensing with the activations, and we'll talk about the activation briefly later on. The DA server need only uh, need the Dota LIC licensing, so the orchestra license manager. Those are both, but the configuration are uh, together. Now, the question: How to configure the driver? I already installed it. How to configure? There is a very simple uh, help file. Once you install the driver, you get the help file in your SMC. Go for where the driver is in the help file. The help of this driver will be added there. And you have the DI object. This is the object that you can edit into your Galaxy and read from application server directly to the PLC. Those are the older version. MBTCP, TCP, and Modbus serial. This is in case your, mass, your Modbus is serial, not TCP. This is a DI object and thus. Okay, so there is no IO, uh, I'm sorry, OI Modbus serial. This is all about the driver. And as you, as you see, we have a big library of drivers. As you know, Wonderware is a software company, so it's not a hardware uh, linked uh, to a specific hardware. So this is why if you have a project, the first question, what is your protocol? And here are the available protocol. GE, control, let's say OFS. This is a factory server. It's an OPC for Schneider. There is an OFS for Wanderer. S7. Or Cimatic, SI Direct, this is Siemens or Siemens, SNMP, the new one, SO Mac, SNMP is for web, and there is another web server driver. SNMP, if you want to connect uh, uh, to a public through a public uh, weather station that they send their own uh, data. And you have the IP address and everything. This is an internet link, internet driver. That's it. Let's go back. This is about connectivity hub license activation. Here, uh, starting 2017, there is two different uh, activation mode, online and offline mode. If your license server is connected to the internet, you don't need to go to license activation portal. It will automatically synchronize with a with a license uh, license server web license server. But if you are choosing the offline mode, that means I cannot uh, have a direct link on the internet with my license server. Here you have to uh, to create a send file from your license server and go to here. You need an internet on another PC. Simple copy paste. Choose this file. Update the file and you get the received file to put it on your license server. Wonderwear, Spiral, or Cytect. Security Central. This tab is for updates and cybersecurity announcement. Let's see, for Microsoft updates. As Microsoft is, uh, is a partner for Wonderwear, Wonderware is always uh, the team is always testing the latest Microsoft updates. So there are these Microsoft Office updates that are, are already tested and they are supported from March 24. There are several updates in April still under testing. You can search. You come back lately. Once you find which one are supported, you'll find which one are not it's rare to find what's not supported and in case it's not supported normally wonder will send to uh, microsoft 
or they will change it internally or sending to Microsoft that please, uh, this is not supporting our products or even Microsoft will give another update or uh, Aveva will send a new service pack or patch to be compatible with the latest update. This re re related to Microsoft and the latest announcements see about cybersecurity here i remember there was a, a trojan or a virus very risky uh, kill me i think this was the name and you'll find here the articles or the announcement about the latest cybersecurity related topics how to what's the overview if there is a virus how to protect yourself what to do what to install uh, to to not be attacked by that virus or this attack, this cyber attack. Okay, you can see the policy and guidelines. Digital exchange will come to digital exchange later. Now, Aveva Flex. This portal is for those who have um, the license Flex. For me, I don't have it. Not on my distributor. None on my basic. So. It will guide you to the uh, the Flex um, portal when you have, uh, if you already registered and you have a Flex license, you have more, uh, I think, um, um, permissions coming with this license, and this is the link to it. I don't have a Flex license, so I cannot go to this part. And last but not least, the product news. And here you can, this is a very good one. It will always give the latest news related to article, download, documents, knowledge base, videos, security. It's all in one, in one place, but what's news? And for subscribe, if you click here, we'll go for the latest subscriptions. What's new? That's it. Now let's see. I I need um, to search for a topic, but I don't know where exactly. Even that I know what every tab do, but I don't want to go for here and there. I want them all in one place for one topic. Here on search, you can do it. In search, you can search for uh, an error, an error in your logger, an error that is shown uh, during the project. And a lot of time you can find the solution from level two, from R&D in the forum. You can find it uh, just answered there. Someone is asking for the frequent error and maybe it's a frequent error and you get a solution yourself. Let's see, for example, I want license, license activation. How to, I want to find everything about license activation. Once I'm clicking here, you'll find, what is it? Are you searching for community? That means it's, it's a forum, security central, knowledge base, readme file, etc. What is an article, a video? What are you searching for? Let's see all resources, license activation. And um, um, what the product type? Is it a tech node documents? Okay, uh, what is the product in touch application server, etc. Product line, you can, you, can, you can customize your search in the way that you want and at the end you have the result. In case you are using the XML normal licensing, I highly recommend to download those two tech nodes, Schneider Electric License Licensing, Activate, activate Licensing, Sorry, activate license using online activation and offline activation. In case of online activation, as I told you, your license server will be directly synchronizing with the web server. In offline activation, I need to open the activation that I showed you before to send and receive a file. How to do it? It's for through two tech nodes. I cannot reach it because I don't have a permission. And why I don't have a permission? Because it's a hotmail. But you as to if you are a valid registered uh, register system creator, you can open your tech notes. 
In case you still cannot open your Tecno, please contact us and to see what the issue is. Now, that's it about the Knowledge Center. Next is the Digital Exchange. You see this Digital Exchange showing several places. Now, first, regarding the Digital Exchange, you have to make another registration. It's not from the same uh, email address. Uh, it will be the same email address, but it's not same account. So you need to do another registration, get a, vari a validation, and it will be shown directly. So what is a, um, a Viva Digital Exchange? It's a, a web portal, a friendly user, easy to use, to download, and to post, and to contact Aveva and third party, uh, third party or partners of Aveva. Plus, you can uh, contact L2 and uh, the uh, the marketing people, the sales people directly from Shad. They will uh, they will guide you and take your order and see how they can help you. Let's g give um, an example. For example. Uh, there is a lots of, as you know, um, Wonderware product is open source, so you can you can uh, create your own application, your own object. You can create your own uh, control, client control. Let's say I need an OMI application for CCTV or a bigger one for GIS. Map map up is not enough, and I cannot find the um, the CCTV application, but it's for OMI. Let's search for. And here I can find several OMI applications. GI size, one of them, is for geospatial OMI application or long watch OMI. This is for, um, let's see, for for CCTV. I can add it to my project if I have a project. So let's see, management project, adding to the project. And here you can find what you add to your project. The request for engagement, in case there is something for free, you can download it directly. In case there's something you need a subscription to, there will be a notification sent to this company, Longwatch, ESP, etc. And someone from their sales will contact you right away. There is other things like services, training, etc. But the most important, not only this, as you see, there is a partners, third party, not only Aveva, that's mean you with um, uh, the toolkit, you can, as I said, you can develop your own solution. So you can post your own solution in here as well. Long watch, Skynet, Indev, it's an indoor system integrator, Callisto, etc. So you can publish with Aveva. You can have your own part here. So simply what is the company website? Put it in here. What type of partner you are? I'm a system integrator. And here briefly descri describe your offer. I have an OM application that do one, two, three, or a new um, uh, driver that uh, it's not in your library that I want to put it in here, etc., etc. Not not only from from uh, knowledge or whatever you can find it. Let's say we are working in our project, and simply I oh I I need to install something. Let's go for import, and you can you can directly within your project environment go and install whatever you need from the exchange, from Aviva Digital Exchange. It's linked to your project as well. Oops. That's it about digital exchange. Very friendly user and very easy to use. Just take your time to look at it. Last but not least, the industrial portal. And here is your own profile for your training and exam that you've done. Um, go for my course, active, and you'll find your active course. 
that you already registered. Now I'll tell you how to register for course or the exams with expiry date. Oh, I have to finish this one soon. And what are the exams? How to find the exams? And here you'll find the, uh, the Eastern Bunny that Aviva left it for you. Just simply click on course catalog. Open the portal and here you are exposed for all the e-learnings, instructor led. Self training, virtual instructor led here, virtual instructor led. You don't need to be um, uh, in US or anywhere. You can you can um, um, follow this training virtually from your place, but you, you just as if you are there, but you have to follow that timing because you can contact that the instructor while he's uh, he is uh, uh, during his training. It's virtual virtual training, and we are we are almost done with our own virtual training as well. So we will have the, a similar uh, a similar platform. Now, what is the the Eastern Bunny, or what is the the bonus that Aviva is giving? This is the, the bonus. It's giving a free offering for a lot of e-learnings. I think the last um, last number was 287. I think e-learning and curriculum. Let's say, for example, those are for free. Whatever you find this, it means it's for free for the registered system system integrator. Say, for example, I need a application server. Search. Because I have 50, 53, let's say I need anything, everything related, application server and related to redundancy. Okay, application redundancy and device integration redundancy here, 45 minutes, 44 minutes. See how to make an application redundancy simply registered. Click on finish. Once it's finished, you can find it in your active course. I'll give you an example. This is one that I registered. I already completed, but I registered before. Energy performance. You'll find it. You'll not find the certificate unless if you finish the course, then go for lunch. No. And here. Welcome to the e-learning course on energy performance for manufacturing. It's a video with presentation. Next, next, next. Let's go for um, benefits. Example. We can reduce energy through uncovering relationships between energy demands, consumption, and production data. Self-configurable energy See, for example, the architect overview. So the following video explains. Next. Now is we look at how, how to the data it. is gathered for project implementation. And then when it's done, there is a knowledge base to make sure that you already know the product. Simple question about the video before. Once you succeeded this small exam, a mini exam, you can continue the the next, next uh, video. Close it. Once it's done, you get the notification that this uh, course is already done. However, if you miss the notification, you can find the certification in here. So what if it's an old one and you want to to look at it? What you already done? You can find everything in archived. All the learnings or the uh, the the um, the training, even virtual or instructor led training, you can find it in here. You can install the certificate, the exam as well. It's all in here. Now, last but not least, the exams. Like um, like the software training, exam is similar. It's a simple global portal. It's a simple uh, link. Simple link to the exam portal. And you can register to any exam you want. If 
from the list in here. Let's go for application server, for example. I always recommend to go for the latest exam. Well, in here, uh, 2020 didn't is not released yet, so this why 2014 is still there. Once 2020 is released, this one will be as an exam will be obsolete, and you need to update your exam. So always go for the latest one. Add a chart. This is normal. Finish, and you'll get it into your portal, like the one I have it in here. I have a CTP for you. It will be a CSI. Simply click on it. Once you are ready, you want to go for it. It will show you. For example, um, let's go for the exam. It will show you how long you need for this exam. Six hours, 80 questions. You need 80% to pass it. Trust me, six hours for, for, for someone who knows the application server, it's more than enough. Once you're ready, launch your exam. Once you pass your exam, give it about one 24 hours just to verify your your uh, your exam. So someone must from uh, uh, from Aviva must to apply your uh, uh, your ex uh, to approve your, your your certification. Give it a little bit of time, and you'll find the, cert the certifications here. And anyway, you'll get a notification on your email. So we already covered the registration, knowledge and support center, digital exchange, training portal, and CSI exam. If you're facing any issue, you want any question, please do not hesitate to contact contacting us. Thank you and see you in the next webinar.